going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Farm some news, baby. Hectic Farm some news, that guy. Today's show is packed full of big top stories for you guys. We got 10 monitors to talk about, including an update to Pumps and Hoses DLC and new tractors, trucks, and bikes heading our way. Oh, let's check it out. At the time of recording this video, there's not been an update to the testing list. However, I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out throughout the day, and I will do my best to share the list if and when it gets updated. Jumping over to modern news, Creative Mesh have been working on an update to the Pumps and Hoses DLC, teasing it little by little over the past few weeks. They say that the DLC will be expanding to include the Shouten Giant 400 and a truck scale suitable for your biogas plants to monitor your weights of products coming in and out. There will also be numerous new features and improvements made to the DLC, and currently there's no release time or even a release window, but it will keep you posted as information is made available. Next up, Pascal Couts has a new mod heading our way for all platforms, the Lizard OT2000. This is an older style semi truck and is not built around any existing model, as it was modeled from scratch to his own liking and taste. A great truck from a starting farm or even some older machinery let's plays it's good for all of it and from the look of it there will be one truck model itself with different customization options as well as two different trailers we'll have the bell bed which can hold up to nine pallets or 12 on the trailer no auto load for bells by the way so keep that in mind and as for the tanker truck that will hold 12,000 liters and the trailer will hold 16,000 liters you can check out these mods in combination for however you wish and we should see this mod on the testing list soon as it's already been sent on for testing next Slusha's modding has another motorbike for us, the Lizard Volcano. This is a new electric bike, which they say is specific for farm use. Whatever that is. Currently, it's in the early stages, but they work pretty fast, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was ready to be sent out for testing by the end of the week. And of course, it's for all platforms. One name we haven't heard much recently is JA Modding, but today they're back with more progress on their Massey, which we saw for the first time at the end of September last year in 2022. Well, as of today in April of 2023, he's working on assembling and preparing the XML to get the mod into the game. For now, it's just a plain model, as you can see, but they are taking it one step at a time. JA's a busy dude, and he's with every other modder, but he just does this for fun. So he's doing as much as he can in his spare time. Oh, and he does say he's going to be finishing up the John Deere X748 pack as soon as the Massey is done. If you don't remember, that is the John Deere riding lawnmower that we got back in Farm Sim 19 with all the extra attachments and tools. Oh, I can't wait. Next up today, we've got HR Forest who are back in action with another mod pack for all platforms, the Crampy SKS pack. The trailer will come in two different sizes, with the larger one looking more similar to what we've already got in game, and a small one too. However, there will be lots of changes and additions, including colors and the unloading speeds, well, whatever that's going to be. And of course, because there's a dolly, we can make a road train out of them. How awesome is that? HR Force didn't say anything about capacity, so we will have to wait for that to be released. Usually they tease something only days or even hours before it's released on the mod up, so we may find out more about this mod sooner than we think, so stay tuned. Schultz Modding is updating his buildable feedlot, my favorite animal pasture in the game, to version 1.001. He's adding a milk storage, slurry storage, and fill triggers. He's also added bell support to the feeding trough, making TMR bells usable with this, if you have the new DLC anyway. The new milk and slurry placeables can be found in silo extensions, and the fill triggers can be found in silos. They'll have a video, or I will have a video rather, showing this update coming out soon so keep an eye out for that and i do want to thank shul's modding for sending this information over to let you guys know ahead of time protects design are working on a new front roller and packer for all platforms the barracks 6m front packer from the looks of it this will work as a cultivator or roller at least i think giving you the flexibility to run one implement on the front of your tractor or a six meter cedar or planter whatever you want on the back doing at least two jobs at once very nice. 4D Modding shows off some new renders of their Jeepton 14 ton dump trailer today with a look at it in Giants Editor. There's still a few things left to do, including skinning the hoses and adding collisions, then it will be ready to get into the game. 4D say it should be good for all platforms, so they're also working on a debranded lizard version for console players. Farming Agency have dropped a bit of information on their Terra Life Animal Food add-on as an alpha preview of how it will or could work in the game, depending on how you play. They say that in real life, feed is split up depending on what kind of cattle you have and what region you're located in, at least in its most simple form. So they've divided it into two groups in Terra Life. We'll have grassland region feed and arable region feed. 
For grassland region, roughage consists of clover grass and clover grass silages. For performance feeding, organically certified milk performance feed or individual components such as cereals or field beans are used. For arable regions, roughage consists of clover grass, clover grass silage, and corn silage. For performance feeding, organically certified milk performance feed or the company's own concentrated feed components such as grain or field beans are used. Your life's going to be taking the way that we play farm sim to a whole nother level. Like, way beyond what Maze Plus did in Farm Sim 19. It will be included in a few upcoming maps and maybe an update to a few as well. However, it changes a lot, so it's only going to be PC only, unfortunately. So please do keep that in mind. And lastly today, Oxygen David shows off some new screenshots from Court Farm, saying that since the first version will be PC, he can implement his seasonal textures from Comsden into the map for trees. I know there's been a lot of questions if the map will be coming to all platforms or not, as it does seem like a PC only type of mod, or map anyway. Oxy has said that the first version will be PC only. However, there will be a crossplay version coming after afterwards once everything has been worked out. Court Farms is likely going to be one of the most immersive and detailed mods that we've ever seen in Farming Simulator history. Maps included, and it's got quite a few things that are brand new to the Farms and franchise, so making sure that everything's working the first time isn't a bad idea. Either way, I can't wait for it, and I know you guys can't wait either. Just like I couldn't wait to tell you that just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything we talked about today could be found in the description below. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com thanks to Yoast Modding. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the Farm Sim News video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Then, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Bye. tell you what recording farm some news at 8 in the morning is a whole lot easier than 6 a.m yesterday was tough